I am going to do a tutorial on how to dual boot on your Redmi 1S. So this was made by a Chinese developer. So all credits go to him. So let's get started. First you have to do is go into the recovery mode. We go into the updater and let us down. Reboot to recovery mode. Yeah. So let's wait till it goes into the recovery mode. So to tell you about the dual boot mode. For now, you can only dual boot Moki ROM and Moki ROM Android 4.4.4 and MIUI version 47 that is Chinese variant. So we are into the TWRP recovery. You need to have a custom recovery. The, uh, the inbuilt MIUI stock recovery doesn't work. So to know how to install a custom recovery you can check my tutorial which I will link in the description below so now click on the install button install now go to the directory where you kept the zip file and select Hongmi HM1S sysrec.zip this one so click on it and flash it will take some time to get it flashed but it won't go into a boot loop instead it will go into the TWRP recovery once again yeah so again click on install oh all the files got invisible don't get worried click on this and select external LCD and select ok again select the directory in which you kept the files and select the HM HM1S system menu 1.2 zip and flash it again after it's flashed you will go into an installer which looks similar to aroma installer so you are here or everything is in Chinese so don't worry I will take you through the steps click on this blue button next yeah the here is something written we don't know what it is just click on this checkbox and click on the next yeah and here are three options but you have to select the first one select it oh here are some more options but select the first one yes and some more options select the first and you are ready to go click on the next mm, uh, make a note that this checkbox is checked and click on the next yeah now it's installing our dl boot dl boot system everything would be fine if you followed exactly the same way as i did so let's wait this would take around 3 to 5 minutes if everything goes well yeah it again reboots and goes into TWRP recovery so 
click on install again again this time seems that external SD card ok and go at the bottom I pull it better and select DZ Moki percent to be MI to be MIUI this is the zip provided by the developer for dual booting Moki plus MIUI version 47 it is MIUI version 5 based on the Chinese variant version 47 this is pretty fast and stable but only problem is GPS doesn't work I don't know why because mine is an Indian variant of the phone so this may be a reason but it doesn't work even in the Moki ROM so if you are uh, GPS or a Google Maps user then don't use this one more side note if you change particular elements of a theme like lock screen or status bar or anything of a theme in MIUI this dual boot system leads to random reboots so please make a note of it because it is not mentioned anywhere else I faced this issue so I will be reverting back to the original MIUI version 45 so it will be done in a minute yeah. again into the TWRP recovery my job got locked reboot reboot the system so this will take you to the MIUI or the Moki I don't know I'm not sure. Uh, it's taking us to the Moki ROM. So let's wait till it boots. If there is through this, I will in increase the brightness for you all to see it clearly. Ah, uh, yeah, tutorials, blah blah blah. And let the brightness go up. Yeah, now it's clear. We are under the Moki ROM. Pretty much stable for your one confirmation. Uh, this is Android 4.4.4 KitKat is very much stable apart from a few issues like low call volume and others so now how do you go to the MIUI so go in the app drawer search for an app named system changer here system changer click on it a message comes system one use this tool you can switch system his English is pretty bad I guess make sure you have save all your works before do that I have saved everything recently so this will take me to the asking for root permissions yes allow it oh setting stop switching so now it will switch over to interesting if you want to show off but nothing usable in my opinion but a great work by the developer so 
sorry for the bad quality guys i am shooting this from my dad's zolo android phone perfectly working fine with no issues but as i said gps doesn't work no google, none of the google apps are installed you need to install them manually using the mistro uh, and as i mentioned this has an issue if you change certain elements of team then it gives random reboot MB of RAM because no apps are installed and one important thing to be noted is that uh, the apps and data are not shared among the own ROMs so if you install subway sub on this MIUI ROM it won't show up on the Moki ROM so you would end up wasting a ample amount of space so this is a this is it guys so if you liked the video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because i will be making more videos on my redmi 1s and more tech videos to come thank you guys bye